dysfunctional vet. What we have is a country line 25 ton log splitter from Tractor Supply. Let's discuss this for a moment. I have approximately 20 to 25 hours of runtime on it, and the front seal started leaking, was just dumping oil like crazy. Um, contacted a hydraulic repair place to find out about getting it in to get it repaired and the first words out of his mouth when I said I had a log splitter leaking he said you got it at tractor supply they're crap they do not use the proper seal on the front they will leak this cost me hundred and eighty dollars to get that seal replaced that's labor and parts and everything else hundred and eighty but that's only in part why I'm making this video the other part, when it comes, they say that it's, it's got the amount of um, fluid already inside the reservoir. And because it was leaking, I went ahead and pulled this out. And then I remembered when I got this thing, I checked it, and it was already low. They only put some fluid in it. They do not fill it up to the level it needs. And so um, while I'm thinking about that, I thought I'd mention it to you. If you buy one of these, they tell you that it's already got the fluid in it. Don't believe them. They're lying to you, or probably lying to you. At least they were to me. I bought a couple of things from the Tractor Supply where they told me that the oil was already in it, and it was not. One was the mini bike, um, the uh, Coleman mini bike that I did the video on. That one did not have any oil in it at all, and the guy told me it had been fully serviced and was ready to run. But I checked it, it wasn't. When I got this thing home, I checked and it was also low so I couldn't use it right away I had to get fluid for it and I just checked it now that um, I've got this back from the shop and um, I need to add a little bit of fluid to it but I wanted to mention it to you when they tell you that this thing has been serviced don't believe them uh, don't believe them at all dysfunctional vet out